For so many people, phone conversations are just a thing of the past, or at the very least, a rarity. Everything is done via text these days. So what does that mean for dating? How can you flirt in writing? Shan is back now to teach us the art of flirting via text. And Shan has always been great about teaching how to flirt. I cannot wait to do this with words. So Shan, I know a lot of our viewers don't even know where to begin. The great news is if you're not that exceptional at flirting, this is your saving grace. Now you have time to practice, you have time to workshop, you can Google responses. So this is honestly a really good thing for people who don't consider themselves to be exceptional flirts. And to really break it down, flirting is simply communication plus sparks. That's it. Communication and a little something something. So it's what you would normally say um, with a special little addition. How do you flirt without it reading like it's just all about sex? Like take a pants off. Well, I mean, if that's where you're trying to go, I think that <laughs> what's really important when you want to flirt with somebody is you want to know what the end intention is. So am I flirting with you because I want a sexual relationship? If so, then what you just said, I mean, I wouldn't recommend that verbatim, but somewhere <laughs> in that ballpark probably would do the trick. If you're looking to actually make a deeper connection with someone, then the plus sparks would go to plus, I love getting to know you, plus, I read the book that you said that you suggested and it really moved me. Um, the plus would go in the direction that actually leads again to the intention that you set for the relationship. Okay, that's interesting because I think for a lot of us, we think flirting means a lot of witty ban banter, but really it's about sort of reaching into that relationship and, and sort of acknowledging that person in, in a way that makes them feel seen. So can you give us some flirting do's and don'ts? Yes. So flirting do's and don'ts. Flirting do, do use humor. It doesn't have to be like you said, this big, serious, sultry dance. It can just be two people connecting. And dating apps show that humor is one of the major things that people base compatibility on. Don't use excessive self-deprecating humor. Mm -hmm. You do still want to position yourself as somebody who is attractive, someone who's in demand, somebody who's cool and fascinating. So putting yourself down doesn't put you in the best light possible. I think do use emojis. Those can really help as punctuation tools. If you want to show somebody what the hint is or a little tongue in cheek moment, don't use emojis as your primary form of communication because a lot can get lost in translation. And then I would say do try to advance the intimacy. I look at flirting like a game of poker. So if you do something like, hey, you look great in red, I'm going to say, thank you so much. I love the way that that shirt fits you. Can I touch the fabric? So I responded back to what you did and raised the stakes just a little bit. Don't blindly race out ahead and say, if someone says, hey, your shirt looks great, then say, hey, your pants would look better on my floor. That's 40 <laughs> steps too far into the future. Okay. That makes sense. Like, show some restraint. Add what they, like, give them back what they gave you. Add a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of something, and don't go crazy with it. So, all right, let's do a little <laughs> scenario. So, I, I'm text, we're dating, or we're seeing each other, and I send you a text, and I say, Shan, had a great time last night. Send. Then what you're going to do is you're going to respond back and say, I had an incredible time too, and then bring that person back to the scene. So describe the moment that really stood out to you. Um, that way, this person, again, you lock in a fond memory of yourself. And then also, too, you make it very clear that you're paying attention to the details. So rather than just a, a dry, I had a great time, too, the response of, you know what, last night when we were sitting at dinner and you were telling me about your favorite book and your eyes lit up, that light is still inside of me today. Um, be descriptive, Aww. give details, and again, show that you pay attention. Do you give these tips to men? Because I wonder sometimes about that back and forth conversation. I hear from a lot of people that date that they're not getting that back from their male partners. Absolutely. I mean, there's an incredible book that I love. It's called The Art of Seduction by Robert Greene. And what I love about it is that it talks about the different ways to entice people. And rather than, to your point, Trace, it just being the same one way of like putting on a red dress and salsa dancing in a room, it has nine other ways that you can draw people in and keep them coming back for more. And charisma and humor and self-confidence, speaking to someone's highest potential, being free, being a risk taker, like all of those things can be extremely great tools when it comes to flirting. Now, I would hope that all genders are accessing this information, but the truth is if your partner is not, 
that just means that you're more in control and that you get to call the shots. So as much as it's kind of a downer because you want to get it back, know that when you've got the keys and the tools and the superpower, you're the one who's leading the charge. There's always a silver lining. You're such a pro. Shan, thank you. That was fun. Thank you for teaching us the delicate art of flirting via